Let's go. All right. So anyway, so what I wanted to do is take a little bit of what I had been doing in photography and bring it into the image generation world. And we're going to be working off this PDF right here. It says lighting. I don't know if I can pin it, but uh, it's right there. Now, what this should give you guys a very good idea of all sorts of different image generation lighting styles. Do not use those prompts because it's just going to give you the same exact thing. Another thing that I want to speak about is that I did not use magic prompts on any of these prompts in order for the for us to know exactly what the model sees. So it's not that um, magic prompts can embellish extra stuff into it. This is literally what the model sees. I wanted to go even more specific and make it more like scientific and just put in like the words like fill lighting, low key lighting, high key lighting. But the model wasn't doing too well with that. And um, I decided to just go a little bit more embellished, but I was trying to go as bare bones as possible to see exactly the lighting styles that the model could do. Okay. So does everyone have the document? So it's just in the chat in the chat. Uh, you can just open chat. it or download it from there. Yeah, sorry. Right. Okay. All right, guys. So let's start off with uh, the first one. We're gonna do just like uh, the lighting of. Hold on. I, I believe I think it was soft lighting that I started on. Let me get the paper. Natural. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Natural light. Okay, so natural light, of course, would be anything like sunlight, um, you know, sun coming in through the clouds, um, sun, uh, sun rays on the ocean, uh, anything that's natural lighting. Okay, so for our first prompt, try something with natural lighting. Uh, like I said, it must be sunlight. So anything with sunlight in the prompt should give you a pretty good idea of what natural lighting is. You want, it could be harsh or soft, it doesn't matter, that's not stated, but it can definitely be like golden hour lighting or um, you can use uh, words like uh, light on the subject, sunlight on the subject, um, rays of light on the subject from the sun, anything that has to do with that. Oh, I'm not, I wasn't sharing my screen. I could share my screen if you want to, but it's the same exact document. Hi. I can share my screen though, if you guys want. There you go. Maybe that's easier for people to follow because you can highlight yeah. which part you're on. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So I put here an enchanting meadow at golden hour. Wildflowers swaying in the gentle breeze. Butterflies dancing. But it could be anything, right? Because it's sunlight. It's natural lighting. Okay. I have one. Sweet. Yeah. You know, so basically anything that has to do with natural light. Ah, got you. No problem. YCW. Yes, exactly. Exactly. YCW, that's very, very nice. That actually has a couple of lighting styles that we're going to do because it also has like the side lighting and things of that sort, but that one's really, really good. Natural lighting. We're not stating anything else except for the natural light.
Yes, um, in the, what is it, the Creativity Hub. Every single week we do one, and a lot of them do have PDFs. Not every week we had a PDF, but a lot of them we did. That's beautiful, Bjorn. Thanks. Yes, YCW. Okay, we have a lot to get through, so moving on. <laughs> Perfect. Phil, that one's dope. Perfect knowledge level. Okay, guys. So we're gonna we're Phil, I would moving have to on. Say that guy is gonna get baked really fast on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> a lot sure. of rays. Uh, he's gonna be pure sun rays. He's gonna be. So nice. we're moving on. He's gonna be <laughs> nicely tanned like in Chernobyl. <laughs> For sure. Okay, so next we're gonna do soft lighting. So soft lighting is diffuse lighting. Anything with like that gentle, soft, diffuse lighting. It cannot have harsh shadows. It has to be like if you're putting like a light through like a like a pantyhose or something. Like have you ever seen that kind of lighting? Where you can put or or have you ever tried to like put lighting through like um a piece of paper and then shining it on somebody? or lighting through uh, curtains or something, and then you shine it, it diffuses the light, so it makes all the particles scattered, and it makes the, um, the shadows a lot softer on people's faces. Are you asking you us if we actually use the pantyhose? Well, yeah, use? yeah, yeah. I mean, is it just me, or, or am I the only weirdo here? But yeah. Well, it's not something I like to talk about in public. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> And it's exactly Destiny Rose, right? Like diffuse lighting. It's like it's usually like very soft shadows, very soft um, types of uh, lighting. A pantyhose method on a Sunday. Oh, okay, okay. Let's not get crazy now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's what it is. So okay, so I I used to do that, guys. Okay, so like. When you have like really like a harsh flashlight and you want to like take a picture, but you don't want it to like completely blow out your photo, you would get a pantyhose or a piece of cloth. It doesn't really matter. And you would put it up against the flashlight and this would diffuse your lighting. I know it sounds weird, but what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> It doesn't sound weird. It's just not something we tend to say in public. <laughs> Except when your name is Aziz Canvas or something. No, he does it on Sundays only. Yes, Destiny Rose. Like super soft lighting. Exactly. Diffuse. Diffuse and soft. Yes, yeah, exactly. Penny goes in front of a lens. You know what also makes it? Um, when you put like um. Um, what is that stuff called? Vaseline on a lens. You put Vaseline on the outside of a lens and then it makes it, yeah. It also makes it very diffuse. Perfect YCW, exactly. It just makes it like nice and diffuse. Dreamy. It's called Dreamy Lens. That's what it is. So, yeah, most of my ideas are from photography, so. I, I hope other people are, are trying this out uh, as well. I think we might have like really, I don't know why today we have such low uh, count. I think maybe something happened. I don't know. Maybe people are just like working or something, but I think, anyways. It's, no, I think that's probably the holidays, but um, you know, it's summer vacation, but Ooh, I only see nice. a few of those here uh, post images. So. Yeah, today we have really low count of people. I don't know why. Oh, school holidays. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Olympics. Oh, and the Olympics. That's true, too. Do we look like people Olympians to you, Phil? Yeah. <laughs> I have a prompt for Olympics, though. It's coming. Um, to celebrate the Olympics. Okay, so moving on. We got hard lighting. So, 
hard lighting is like that noir light. And I was trying to get this, but I didn't have enough time today. But you know, you guys know when you have like those images in a movie from like a noir film of like a detective and like the, the light coming in through the windows and like you only see like you have like these um like lines across the detective's face or the woman's face and everything is like really harsh shadows. That's hard light. Yeah, definitely film noir yeah, is known for it. Film. Right. Well, Blade exactly. Runner 2, but that's a, a modern one. That's a tech noir. It's in color. The old ones in the 40s and 50s, they were all in black and white. So it, it really caught your eye instantly. Yes, that's beautiful, Destiny Rose. That's definitely diffuse lighting. I put there like a, a picture of a of a detective, but I wanted something more like with like the the blinds, the Venetian blinds across his face or something. Yeah, that's awesome, Glenn. Now try to see if you guys could do the the that crazy. I don't know, I mean if you want to, but it would be so cool. Let me see if I can do it while you guys are doing that. A noir, I would say something like a noir detective. Noir shot. Yeah, film noir had also these cool, um, what do you call it? Not straight angles, like all these crooked angles. I, I can't mm -hmm. find the words for it. But uh, uh, it's called um it's called a Dutch angle. Dutch angle, thanks. Yeah. Oh, Phil cool the femme fatale. Let me yes, see. Yes. Ooh, yes, perfect. That's exactly what I love. Yes, ooh, I love that Destiny Rose. That's an awesome shot of, of hard lighting. He can arrest me. <laughs> hmm. Casting. Hey, YCW. Harsh oh, shadow. He's going for Mars almost. Ooh. Ooh, I see it. That's awesome. If if he gets rid of the cactus, we, we can get to a Mars kind of image. Ooh, that's awesome for hard lighting. I love it. YCW, that's amazing. Oh, I think I got it. Ooh, I love this. Check it. This is what I was looking for, and I didn't get to do it. That's what I was looking for. Yep, very film noir. Yep. Very, very film noir. And this was just, yeah, this was just, um, I think it just knows what the word noir means because this is, it was a pretty basic prompt. I think it just knows what that style is, you know? Mm -hmm. Also, I wasn't even putting magic prompts. Like, that's how you know when the model is really, you're actually getting what the model is capable of when you don't put on magic prompts and you just do straight on one word, two word, three word prompts. Like, that's what the model knows or it doesn't know. It was either trained or it wasn't trained on that type of stuff. But this for sure, it was trained on noir shots. Like, you know, because it does it so easily that it, it does it quickly, you know? A zebra this one, it's almost like, yeah, it almost like it was like, okay, uh, it's a cat, so I can actually make it the Venetian blinds part of his fur. <laughs> Zebra cat. Okay, moving on. <laughs> moving on to uh to backlighting. So I put here like an ancient baobab tree silhouette against a blazing African sunset, 
wildlife silhouettes. Um, this is always when it's the lighting would obviously be in the back, right? But there's some really cool stuff you could do with this, and you could actually mix it in with the rim lighting that's coming up. So check it because you have you ever seen like one of those shots that it's like an Olympian or something like that, and then you see kind of like light, but the light is outlining the person's skin. Have you guys seen that? Well, that's backlighting on a rim shot. Mm -hmm. So it's both of those together. So if you add those two together, you can get something really interesting. Individually, they're pretty cool, but both of them together are really interesting. Exactly, Destiny Rose. Is that backlighting or is that also with rim lighting? Because part of her is rim light and part of it is backlight. Nice studio photo. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. And I love it towards, that's beautiful. Yes, Destiny Rose, the, the, the guitarist also. Bjorn, that's dope. You guys have some good stuff. Backlit on the prompt. Right on. Yeah, I was going for more of a Blade Runner feel with, with the car there. That's awesome. Okay, so yeah. Fabrice, um, did you also put, is that one diffuse lighting or is that backlighting? Because that one looks really diffused. Yeah, Alex, that's dope. That's more like getting into um, neon, but definitely. Are you going ahead of, of, of the thing? It's all good if you are. I don't really care. You guys can go ahead if you want. Cyber back and harsh, interesting. So yeah, you're you're mixing it all up. It's a really cool I agree, shot, guys, Alex. Mixing it up. It's really cool. Mixing up lighting is 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 a great idea. Yes! Wow, ICW, that's beautiful. I would say that would be see that would be a little bit of rim lighting, and that would also be a little bit of back lighting, because the rim is kind of like by her. Um, by her back, the bottom of her back, and also um, the top of her arm has that rim lighting, and then you see the, the lighting from the back. Yes. Noara, that would be definitely a great, that would be a really good example of not only moonlight, but also um, backlighting and diffuse lighting. I guess like in image generation, it gets a little bit easier because when you're doing photography in reality, you're not going to get a diffuse picture like that on moonlight as easily, you know, you'd have to kind of like set up your shot. So you wouldn't get like super diffuse lighting. But here, when you're working off of um, image generation, it's kind of like mixing everything together in one. You know what, guys? I'm going to do it all on the... Hold on. Put it wow. Up on. Destiny, Rose, and Panda. Those are very nice. I'm just going to put it on my whole screen so you guys know what I'm looking at. Because <laughs> I keep doing like all these different things. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is beautiful. That's amazing. Yeah, so this is kind of like rim lighting. It's supposed to highlight a subject's outline. Yes, Robin. Good stuff. Beautiful. You guys are so fast. I'm not. I'm not liking anybody's stuff right now. Don't don't kill me. I'll like it later because I just I want to go through That's all of okay. them. Okay, we'll kill you later. No problem. Okay, cool, awesome, sweet. <laughs> but yeah, this is rim lighting. <laughs> So this is just rim lighting, but obviously rim lighting has to do with backlighting. You can mix it both together. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. My gosh. That's, that's almost art deco kind of stuff. I know. I love it. I love, I'm a sucker for art deco. Me too. 
We love Art Deco. Ooh. Getting some. I really like the shot on my next shot that I made. I think this one came out really cool. Uh, I don't want to mess it up. But I kind of like this a lot. Oh, why is his hand so little? He looks like he has little dinosaur hands. I can hands answer too. that. <laughs> I can answer that like because has... Ricky Gervais told so in uh in one of those uh Emmy Award shut shows. Up. <laughs> no, okay, I'll shut up. Shut up. It has it has <laughs> it has little baby reptile hands. <laughs> little baby T Rex hands. Uh, Okay, wait, how zoom when I try type Mario and Pikachu and they create, then see too close how I can add they stand little far away, see many times. Okay, okay, put that inside Google Translate and come back to me. I don't understand. I'm trying to figure out what do you mean by that? They, they stand very close together? You mean like very, very, very close? Ooh, that's beautiful, Destiny. Yeah. Dang. Well, no, that's fancy, girl. That's fancy. Fancy. <laughs> you fancy, girl. Ooh, Alex, he's fancy too. That looks like a Russian bride. I heard they're hot. They Sorry. are. Sorry, thinking out loud again. Sorry. <laughs> Eating a corn dog. Really? Seriously? Salma Hayek? Really? Really? What? I did not know that. I love this. This is like good for harsh lighting. Yeah, hard light. Steampunk. Very cool. That's gorgeous, Nora. Oh, there you go. Oh, so they're standing. You want them to be, they are too close. I want more far away. Hmm. Maybe tell them one on the right, one on the middle, and one on the left. Oh, yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll probably do that another time. <laughs> but somebody can help you out and prompt with friends. Can he, Printer? I can't. I'm not going to do no Mario. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Oh, there you go. Shot from across the room. Maybe. But I wonder if it would just like do it from really far away. There you go. Distance, full body. Those are good, actually. Use those, Kenny Printer. Look. Oh, you said some, uh, something that might help, and so did Jack Steele. Long shot. Maybe. Or maybe, do you think that maybe the model might think that it's just really far back away? And that's the only one that I'm wondering. Wide, yes, wide shot. That's another good one. I think the one that OU did is the one that's going to get the best one. The distance, full body. That might be the best. And maybe adding the wide shot. Okay. Onward. Side lighting. So obviously it's what it is, right? It's basically just something that has the light coming in from the side. What I really like, though, is the way that it turned out on this shot. Viewing through binoculars in reverse. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've done that, though. Have you ever done that? That's like a trick in, um, to get macro in photography. You put the lens backwards, and you get some really cool shots. Um, Ooh, that's an awesome example of rim lighting, Noada. Yeah, very creepy. <laughs> it's Chucky's, it's creepy, uh, Chucky's new daughter or something. Baby, yeah, it's Chucky's baby. <laughs> Ooh, side lighting, that's beautiful, Phil. It's a beautiful shot. Wow. Photos are awesome when people have wrinkles and all these things because there's so I much know. detail to grab. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah, I've, 
I know exactly what you're saying, OU, and I agree. Maybe if you add like really deep wrinkles, you might get a really interesting shot. Okay, so here's top lighting also. I'm just going to make these bigger so that everybody can see them better. Ooh, love that, YCW. That would be side lighting with a little bit of noir, a little bit of harsh lights. That's beautiful. Ew, gross. <laughs> Ill. That's gross. Four year old dirt. Nasty. Rats need to go. Ah, all right, man. Ladies, man. We were we were buddies through Project Odyssey. <laughs> For sure you're if you have wrinkles that are four years old. Bro, for sure, they're older than everybody. I was trying mountains on the moon. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Well, they're too sharp. Like they're, they, they don't look like it's on the moon. They should be more eroded, but okay. I love this Nuara. Little metallic kitty. It's so cute. It reminds me of my little metallic kitty. What image? Ronak. With image. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a pretty one here, Mancer. I love those type of dogs. The golden retrievers. But yes, but on the moon, the shadows are pretty sharp. Exactly. Totally. YCW, that's gorgeous. That one's side lighting, right, YCW? Love that robin. Oh, my God, that's gorgeous. And it's a robin. <laughs> Is that what you put in your negative prompt, Noara? El gato no puede faltar. The cat cannot be missing. I love this one for Breeze. These are gorgeous guys. What is this one for Breeze? What are you doing? Pinhole lighting. Oh, the pinhole. Yeah, you know, it, oh. it gives you these weird... Um, yeah, it doesn't do pinhole lighting. I think you're doing... You, you mean pinhole photography. There's no pinhole lighting, I think. <laughs> Top it, down, that's perfect. It reminds me of that 80s movies. Um, perfect, though. Screwballs. And yes, porkies. Um, porkies. Porkies. Yeah. Porkies. <laughs> Oh, there's no pinhole photography. There's pinhole photography, not pinhole lighting, guys. <laughs> uh. What you guys are thinking of is when you make a pinhole in a box and you, you put it under the sun and then it develops film. Is that what you guys are thinking about? Why can't you make Ronak, it? That sounds like the beginning of a joke. A T-Rex, a Velociraptor, a Brachiosaurus, and a Pathosaurus, a Pteranodon, and a shimmering scale dinosaur. Having well, a fun... Oh, went to a bar. Yeah, no, they're having a <laughs> fun and relaxing day at the beach. Ooh, nice. Yeah. You could even put, Robin, you could even put soft, diffuse so, uh, side lighting. <laughs> Oh, 
And the T-Rex tries to grab the beer and it falls out of his hands because his hands are too little. <laughs> Poor T-Rex. <laughs> Poor T-Rex. He it's can like, never drink. It's like a chicken with tiny arms. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Evaporated, evaporated long ago. <laughs> uh, nice. There you go. As you wish. Somebody made it for you. That's awesome, Neuromancer. Groot. I am Groot. I'm making these a little bit bigger so you guys can see them better. I but then see if I put them too big, then that happens. Okay, there we go. Thank God that Apple the pages is good for that. You can kind of like move the the photos around as you wish. Fill light and bottom light. So bottom light obviously is like when you're like at a campfire. Exactly. Like when you're at a campfire and you have like a flashlight. That's what I was trying to go for. I didn't have a lot of time left, so. But yeah, the lighting is supposed to be coming from the bottom, right? Um, you could also do like, um, you know, like when there's like a pathway and you see the lights coming in from the bottom? Yes, that's a good one, Bjorn. Ooh, that's very cinematic. I love it. Yes. Ooh, that's a perfect. Those are actually better than mine. Um, so that's what it's supposed to be. Very cinematic, very bottom lighting. It's supposed to give that creepy effect. You know, if you want something that looks creepy, that looks haunted, somebody's telling like a ghost story or a ghost tale, and you want something like that, then that would be the bottom. Uh, what would you consider default light for ideogram? I think it's just like general lighting, I, I guess I would say. I think ideogram uses a lot of cinematic lighting. But yeah, it's it's just basic front lighting. That's totally uh, light to. Oh, yeah, it, it it was like oh, you want a side light? Cool. You might want to put that one in the negative prompt, like actually not showing the lighting on on the photo to keep the damage on the top of the head hidden until the climax of the film. Yep. Uh, this one is awesome. Candlelight. Beautiful. Tarot card. Are those like tarot cards? I like that. I wanted to make one of tarot cards too with like the candles and the whole thing. This is awesome, Bjorn. Awesome bottom light. It also has some diffuse light, backlight. Beautiful. This one would be, I guess, like a, yeah, kind of bottom light, but also kind of like a, more like, I would say backlighting on this one, like that silhouette type lighting. Definitely top down. <laughs> a panda spotlighting with a, with a woman. It's like it took it literally. Ooh, that's a good one. That's like rim light. No, uh, diffuse side light. But the other side is also lit up. So that's where we would need wow. to maybe state that you need shadows. YCW, so maybe telling, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. YCW oh. looks a bit like you raise your head. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, Neuromancer, if you want to put, like, just tell it side light with shadows on the other side. Make sure you add that in so you can get that side lighting style. That's amazing. All right, guys, onward. Fill light would be when you have one of those soft boxes. So you might want to add that into the prompt. I didn't add it in here, but it should show no harsh shadows at all, and it should be shot from the front. So that is what fill light would be. Also, there's a shot that you could do with the sun in the back, 
but instead, at least this is the way that I do it in photography. You can put the sun in the back and in the front, you use a flash on the person's face to fill the light. So you can put fill flash, fill lighting. Uh, ooh, that's a really beautiful shot, Bjorn. That's a good one for like um, perfumes and stuff. Exactly, or a reflector. That would be <clears throat> that would be fill lighting. So reflectors, soft boxes, flashed in front of their face. <clears throat> flash photography. All of those things could be used as fill light. Hello. Ooh, nuclear fusion lighting. That's interesting. That's the cool thing about image generation, right? That you can, like, make up your own lighting styles. <laughs> I tried to stick to, like, lighting styles, like, that were only photography, just because it was supposed to be, like, a photography slash image generation. But when it comes to, like, image generation, you can make up stuff, which is really cool. Nuclear reactor lighting. <laughs> Nuclear reactor lighting? Yeah, I don't know. Try that. I don't know what it's going to give you, but... I don't want to glow in the dark. <laughs> synthetic photography. Totally. That's what this is. This is synthetic photography. That's exactly what this is. Chernobyl lighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all all the little pigs and whatever that roam the wilds now around Chernobyl, they they all glow in the yeah. dark. No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> they actually did tests and they found that nothing was actually kind of like that off. They were like, wait a minute, I guess it was just the stuff at the very beginning. Thank well, you. Well, I mean, You're very welcome. There are a lot of effects from it. It's just not well, when it as first happened. yeah, but still today it's just not as visible. But I but... think a lot of the animals adapted though is what they said. Yes, but they're they're, a lot still, of animals. they're not healthy. There's a lot wrong with them. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Oh. You just don't see it. Or animals? That's so sad. Yeah, exactly. Some some adapted. I guess some can do it and some can't, right? I guess it depends on the uh, the animals. Yeah, dogs and stuff like that. Well, who wow, not that very cool. Who doesn't want to glow in the dark uh, dog or something? Who is not nifty? Right, right. I got that. Yeah. <laughs> So close, yes, almost. Pikachu. Ooh, very nice. Yes, definitely. Wow, Sweet. some nice you, pictures, Esther. Esther. Hey, let's let me let me look really quick. I want to see what. I. Ooh. I'm not fond of the last one. Uh. But uh, the first one, I think, are really cool. The first two. Very cool. Yeah, maybe we could even put the PDF in there, too. Just kind of, like, mix all types of lighting styles together. That's very cool. How to get back where I was. Oh, I think I have to go all the way over here. Yeah, here we go. There, yeah. I think you were at High and Dog. Oh, no, no. I know where I'm at here. Oh. Right. High Key and Low Key. Okay, so High Key, right, is when you have a white, very light subject, and then you're also treating it with very bright light. So it can't have hardly any shadows the model isn't great for doing that 
but I'll give you some better examples in, in actual photography, high key lighting. So you get what I'm saying. The point is to make something like this. I would say this is really good high key lighting. Wow. Okay. Wow. Destiny so try Rose. to get something like this. Something like this would be a great high key lighting situation. Let's see. Wow, that's cool, Destiny Rose. Look at that. That's amazing. Oof, that's perfect, Phil. That's gorgeous. That's perfect high key lighting. That's perfect. That's that's got like four different types of lighting, Noada. That's amazing. Exactly. Ooh, that's beautiful high key lighting. Yeah. It's like bright, shiny high key lighting, but with like dark in the back. It's like almost mixing both of them together, I would say, right? Or maybe even like like harsh shadows with diffuse lighting. I don't know. It's like it, it made some like crazy conglomeration of different things there. That's awesome. But mind you, this would not exist in real life because, for example, these twinkles here would completely bleed out into this area also. But right now we have two different completely harsh shadows plus diffuse lighting. It's like if you would have mixed up two things in Photoshop. That's awesome. That's the beauty of image generation. So this is high key and then low key would be dark on top of dark. So it's like you can hardly see it. This is low key. This is low key. You know, anything that's like dark on top of dark. Yeah. This is, ooh, this is a good example of low-key lighting. Stuff like that. It's like you could hardly see exactly YCW. It's almost like there's no highlights whatsoever in the shot. And in the other one, there should be absolutely no shadows. So in high key, there's no shadows. In low key, there's no highlights. Yeah. Just like this one for what? This one's almost like a, this is like sunset lighting. What do you mean? Oh, I just like this. I get it. <laughs> you're like, oh, it has nothing to do with anything that you're doing. I just like this. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yes, silly girl. Okay, so onward. Somebody already made, I think it was uh, Alex had already, who, who was it, the one that did, the, or was it YCW, that made the tarot cards with the, with the candlelight? You guys remember? So that would be candlelight, obviously. I I wanted to do like um like maybe like a shot of like the uh like a bathtub or a room all full of lights, candlelight. That would be cool. Like a whole room full of candlelight. That's beautiful. Bjorn. And that's beautiful, Destiny. Wow, that's such a cool card. By the way, Destiny, we want to talk to you about an idea that Bjorn had today. That is such a cool shot. Beautiful, man. Go crazy with the candlelights. I mean, I, I was thinking like maybe either like a cavern with candlelights or um, a bathroom full of lights or a room full of lights. 
but all candles. Yes, that's beautiful. Ooh, that's interesting, Laura. You're like, it has candles, but they're on the inside. You can't <laughs> see them. <laughs> that's beautiful. Gosh, Destiny. I want to go take a shower. Not a shower, a bath in there now. <laughs> I know, right? Me too. I want that bathtub. That's beautiful, Bjorn. Thanks. You can add, add it to your vision board, Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day you'll have it. One day tomorrow. Hopefully. Now over here we're getting into like almost, almost to a point where we're gonna we're gonna start getting to a point where there's nothing left. These don't have them done yet. No, there's still quite a few. Yeah, there's still quite a few. Though. I thought we were running out, but now we still got more. And and technically, we still have like 10 minutes to go. Oh no, I better hurry up. Okay, so neon lighting, onward. Neon lighting. Obviously, neon lighting is what it is. Neon lights. It could be anywhere. It doesn't have to be like cyberpunk. Okay, cyberpunk is the one that image generation models like to come up with. But that's unnecessary. Okay, you could do all sorts of weird looking... Uh, Times uh, Square. Lighting. That's interesting, YCW, how it made those weird uh, different panels in it. That's interesting. How did you prompt that? That's so weird. The, but guy, it's cool. the guy with the candle almost looks like a comic book or something. It is. It does look like a comic book. It has panels. Ooh, Destiny. That's Man. beautiful, Destiny. Yeah. So this is what we're talking about. It's like neon. It could also be like neon, like on a brick building, neon at night, neon on a sign, neon um, lit in a bar with like a person's face, like the glow of the neon on a person. You could do it in typography, right? You can make neon letters. That's what we're talking about. So all types of neon lighting. Onward, firelight, right? Um, so it's kind of the same as neon lighting. I'm, yes. I'm sorry, candlelight, but more. Yes. I, I don't think you have to uh, go faster because you're you're getting close to the end of the images you have. Because oh no no, I'm not doing I, I think that. There's... I just think everybody knows the same. Okay, okay. I was yeah, just yeah. gonna say I think there's enough maybe for another half an hour next time. Just saying. No, no, but we want to do also the painting styles, remember? We don't want to do two lighting styles. Okay. We want to do everything lighting today, and then for next week, then we wanted to do all the painting. I think that would be cooler. And that would give them, like, more stuff just to, like, take and play with on their own, you know? Sure. Okay, guys. Very cool, Destiny. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Phil. So the neon lights of, like, Times Square. And, the, and a raccoon in a bathtub with candlelight. Very romantic. Ooh, I love that. Don't you? That is so beautiful. Wow. What did you What did you say to that one? Is that like also like backlighting? That looks like three or four styles inside one. Very cool, guys. Yes, look at that, YCW. Love it. Yeah, old school diners. That, exactly. Like, all these different things have neon lighting. I know you guys know what neon lighting is, so I'm just going to move on. <laughs> um, firelight is obviously just more light from fire than candlelight. Remember, these are photography styles. So we're kind of like mixing in photography with image generation. I think in image generation, it makes it a little bit too, like, on the nose. I don't know how else to say it. Because, obviously, in photography, you would be using, like, a fire light to light up your subjects. Whereas in image generation, you have to create a fire <laughs> Ooh, in Destiny. the photo in order to show it. Destiny, invite me, Destiny. invite me. 
that looks like a nice hangout. <laughs> oh god, that looks awesome. And it's on the beach. For sure. And it's on the beach. Woohoo! I'm like, invited. I'm invited. <laughs> Bring the beer. <laughs> Totes. Okay, so onward. Moonlight. Obviously, we all know what Moonlight is. But it gives it... Ooh, that's some cool, very cool Kenny printer. I love it because it has the rim lighting. That's rim lighting and back lighting. It also has, if I may say so myself, a little bit of fill light in the front. So you see, like, in, in photography, it wouldn't have that. But in reality, now we have all these. That's actually a really good studio setup. Like, when you put the lighting in the front, the back lighting, and the rim lighting on an actual studio shot, that's, like, beautiful. Chef's kiss studio lighting right there. Beautiful. I love that. That is so nice and diffuse. Yeah, diffuse moonlighting. It's always so hard yeah, to, to keep up with Destiny Rose. I know. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Shut up. You know it's Gerald. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's beautiful, too. Damn. Girl, you're an artist at this. You have some amazing prompts. I know, I know. They're still I figured, gorgeous. I figured, but yeah, and you have so many. Like you've tried so many styles. It's awesome. Ah, I messed up my thing. Beautiful YCW. Exactly. It's like firelight somewhere. It could be a, a fire burning. I did like a whole. Um, the other day I made like a whole music video with like beds burning and houses burning and people dancing with their firelight in the back, you know, which in reality, if you think about it, uh, nobody would have done in reality because they would have burned to death. I'm glad but now <laughs> I'm glad you have AI to take out your fantasies because it's burn, burn, burn is all I hear. The other day I made like so yes, yes, of course. Hold on, let me see if I can show you guys. Literally every single prompt was like people on top of beds burning, people in a house burning. And it was beautiful. It looked like if they were just like hanging out. It's very you worrisome. Know, not like actually. real life. So yeah, it's here. It's it's this one here. Hold on, hold on. Ese hombre parece fuego. Hold on, I'll just I'll link it. It's literally the whole the whole thing is people burning, but not like reality. Oh, but the, not in reality. The sound is stuttering. No, no, I'm not gonna put on the okay. video right now. Yeah, but yeah, everything is burning. <laughs> it would be under oh, natural light, Bill. but it would be considered. <laughs> It would also be considered like sunlight, so I don't know. Natural lighting for sure. If you are burning in fire, it is you're being naturally lit. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying alien worlds actually with your moonlight. This one is spotlight. Here we go. Ooh, that is beautiful. Damn. Wow, Noada. I love the lighting on that, too. That's gorgeous. How do you pronounce your name? Chesbach? I guess, yeah, Chesbach. Beautiful. That's like ethereal lighting. Maybe like ghostly lighting. That's some good stuff, guys. So spotlight is better than this one here i'm sure yes this would be moonlight perfect i would say that's like moonlight with like spotlight with like diffuse lighting with like neon lights <laughs> it's pretty it's gorgeous it's got like five different types of lighting
Ooh, that's beautiful, Destiny. That's fantastic. Now. Okay, now we're coming up onto one that I think you guys have never heard of. I had never heard of it before. When I started looking into lighting styles, I found it called gobo lighting. Have you guys ever heard of it? I had never heard of it before. So gobo lighting. I'm sure you've it. done it before. I I've done it, but I had never known that it was called gobo. Yeah. Wow, that boat. Ukraine. That boat is gorgeous. 2023. That is amazing wow. lighting. Could you share your um your prompt? I, I if you want to. You're you're not um it, you're not obligated to do it. If you want to, please share your prompt. Or at least a similar one. Um, because that is some amazing, amazing lighting. Wow, look at Essers. That's gorgeous. I love the style of that panorama with just the subject in the middle. That is beautiful and gorgeous, Conchi. Beautiful, like lighting here, too. The thing about image generation sometimes, though, um, Conchi, and in one of them, I see it a lot more than in the other one, is that it almost looks like really super HDR. Do you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it makes it look like it's super HDR. And I sometimes like I like it and sometimes I don't. Like in hers, it looks really pretty. But there's been times when it does it on people that I really don't like it. You know? Ooh. I love that. YCW. Y That's YCW. Pretty. That one reminds me of Superman. You know when, when you oh, had the three perfect. villains and they were, what do you call it, imprisoned? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like a perfect spotlight shot. Sure, a cruise ship with... Oh, my God, and you even spelled cruise ship wrong, but I did it right. Cruise ship with no lights in the ocean, just a moon way near the boat. Serene, soft, and silver light. I think that's where it's getting it from. The serene, soft, and silver light. Noara. Wow. Beautiful, Noara. Serene, soft, and silver light. Oh, but wait. Yo, dog, is that Mid Journey? Did you put Mid Journey prompts into into uh, um, ideogram, or is that from Mid Journey? Because I think that they would see them differently. Like I've tried Mid Journey prompts okay. on ideogram. Oh, okay, yeah, you're in the wrong. Uh. <laughs> you're in the wrong forum. <laughs> This is ideogram. Um, yeah. Muse? Yeah. We have hit the one hour mark. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. So, oh, do we have any left? Oh, we do. We have, we have a couple. Let's just finish off these guys. See if you could do some of them. But if not, I will have the PDF up in the Creativity Hub. You guys can take it and play with it and. Post whatever photos you guys want. Let's let's go out with a bang and do cinematic lighting. Ooh, that's my favorite. That's the one that I do almost every day. Ooh, Esmera. Love mm -hmm. it. Coffee flakes. Beautiful. Dang. Yeah, it's like fire lighting with coffee. <laughs> Two things I like combined. Coffee and fire. Yeah. yeah. Ukraine, you should you should use it on ideogram. See what it gives you. I'm sure ideogram can do better than Mid Journey any day. And you can put words on it. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one, Phil. Spotlight. I think Phil wants also to put a Phil. ring on it. <laughs> uh, Taco Bell coffee, yo. 
vintage lighting is like like sepia toning and stuff like that. Um, I don't know why the model gave me the wrong one, but it's cool for this one. You're welcome, Robin. Have a good one. Would love to see your stuff on Creativity Hub. Um, so vintage lighting, it should be like worse. Yeah, yeah, guys. If if when once we finish here, you're always you always have the Creativity Hub to keep posting. Just remember to post only the stuff that we did that week. So if you're going to try that, those styles, just post those styles in that week. Just so we can keep everything um, organized. Toxic optimism for sure. That's so cool. I love those colors on it. That's amazing. That's some beautiful cinematic lighting. See, and it's like it's kind of like incorporating um, the noir lighting with the uh, um, black and white monochrome, and it's it's just like a big conglomeration. Which again, you may or may not see in real life. You'd have to set up certain shots. Wow. In real life, but here you could do it. That's beautiful, Destiny. Destiny Rose. Rose, could I have the prompt for that, please? Thanks. Um, these would definitely work for both. That was the point to try to kind of get them, uh, see what we could use for both. I was kind of like experimenting with stuff that I knew from before, Thank you. um, back in the day in photography. That's beautiful. Nice. See, I knew we could do it. A new ideogram would do the same thing, if not better, I would say so myself. Beautiful. So yeah, guys, so take the stuff, use it in your prompts from now on. Never forget your lighting. I always put in my lighting styles in all my shots. It's pretty important to me. So just use them in your lighting styles from now on, and, and you're going to see how interesting you can get. You know, you can get some really interesting shots with these. And there's a lot more. There's foggy lighting, rainy day lighting, northern lights, sunset lighting. I basically asked ChatGPT to give me all the lighting styles that were real that we can now use in image generation. So something that would trend like a, I guess you could say that, that could be used in both, you know? And so that, that's what this whole document is. It's all the different styles that can be used in both image generation and in real photography. Cool. All right, guys, so we are going to actually go test OBS to make sure that we got what we needed. So we actually might be in the lounge in a little bit, okay? All right, guys, peace out.